Hi. This info session will show you a case of the high resolution layer imperviousness from the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service to map in very high resolution for the reference year 2012 for Italy and the case of map updating with Sentinel data for the reference year 2015. Among the main impacts of soil sealing, we can identify the reduced availability of natural resources, like water resources, and the reduction of the hydrogeological stability. Sealing can also have an important impact on the landscape, for example by fragmentation caused by linear structures and urban expansion, which can have a number of further detrimental effects, such as an overall reduction in the size and persistence of wildlife populations. An intensive degree of soil sealing without open spaces of sufficient quality will also reduce the quality of living. The first use case refers to the application of the Copernicus 2012 imperviousness HR layer for the very high resolution mapping process at national scale, which was done for the Italian environmental agency ISPRA. This slide shows the main steps of the process, from the input data, rapid eye at full resolution from the Copernicus space component data access, up to the methodology applied, which includes the integration of the HRL imperviousness layer of CLMS at 20 meters into the training process of the automatic classifier. The resulting map of soil sealing is characterized by an enhanced resolution achieved thanks to the integration of rapid eye images in the mapping procedure. This allowed to improve the 20 meter spatial detail of the original Copernicus layer up to 5 meters, enabling the identification and geolocation of further minor contributing elements to soil sealing, such as local roads and rural structures. As shown in these examples in the urban area, you can clearly see the improvement in spatial detail of the classified rapid eye images. With respect to green land cover, and HRL products over the same area. Such high detail makes the layer suitable for more accurate land use monitoring and environmental applications not only at national level but also at local scale at municipalities for instance. At national level these data have been used as input to the periodic reporting of ISPRA in combination with the existing network monitoring strategy. This chart shows the land take distribution per region and a strong correlation between the estimation derived from the ISPRA National Sampling Network and the National Very High Resolution 2012 impervious layer at 5 meter resolution. The VHR 2012 layer has been used as input for the estimation of a series of landscape indicators such as land take, urban sprawl and edge density. The second use case will show the update of the imperviousness map for the year 2015 at national scale with Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 data. The VHR imperviousness map has been updated with Sentinel-2 Level 1C images. The researchers also tested the use of Sentinel-1 SLC data. And the output map is available at the ISPRA geoportal at the link shown on the slide. The following slides show the results of this updated map with some examples of detected changes and improvements in mapped areas. In this first slide, we can see the original 2012 imperviousness map overlaid on a rapid eye image of 2011 over a region in the south of Italy. Some emission errors, here highlighted in green, were discovered as false changes during the map creation process. They were corrected in the VHR 2012 imperviousness release. And with the introduction of Sentinel-2 data, a new imperviousness layer for 2015 was produced including the real changes detected during the map updating process, as the patches highlighted in this slideshow. The updating process has been followed by an analysis of the trend in soil sealing through the computation of land take indicators such as the urban land take as absolute value and percentage and land take estimation at national level, which is fundamental to the process of evaluation and environmental monitoring of urban and regional plants. This slide presents a list of landscape indicators which have been identified and which can be calculated from the VHR imperviousness map, together with auxiliary data such as administration boundaries, natural areas, etc. 
The following demonstration shows how the VHR imperviousness layer can be used to calculate the land take indicator. The demonstration is based on the layer created for Italy. Download and open the VHR imperviousness layer and the administrative boundaries of the area under analysis. In this case, for example, select the shapefile of the provinces, which is downloaded from the link on the slide. Calculate the extent of the imperviousness area in each zone or province by means of the tool Zonal Statistics as a Table. Fill in the input parameters and select the type of statistic that is useful to derive the land take indicator. As the imperviousness raster layer is a binary map, 0 is not impervious, 1 is impervious, the sum statistic will be applied to calculate the total value of the cells that belong to the same zone. A table will be generated, including the field sum, which gives the total values of imperviousness cells in each zone. Then, perform a join operation between the zone shapefile and the table with the sum statistics, in order to attach this new information. Select the field that the join will be based on, both in the zone shapefile and in the statistics table. And after the join operation, the new field sum will be added to the original zone shapefile. Create a new field named land take, which will be used to apply the formula of the indicator. Number of imperviousness cells times cell area divided by zone area times 100. Change the symbology of the zone shapefile, showing land take quantities as graduated colors with the desired number of classes and a defined range of percentage. For example, in this case, we have seven classes with a range of five points. Check if the symbology settings effectively show the variability of the land take estimation. In this slide, an area around Naples is shown with a high land take value of around 30%. The following slides show the prototype of a web platform based on hexagon geospatial technology designed to calculate and visualize a set of landscape indicators over different regions over time. As an example of the prototype web interface, the Sicily urban statistics are shown here for the imperviousness time series from 2006 up to 2015. The first histogram shows the land take indicator over the years. For example, the column in green shows the value in the Sicily region for 2016. The second histogram shows the values of the land take indicator for each province of Sicily, while the pie chart shows the land take rate of each province with respect to the regional surface. Clicking on different areas of the graphs, the corresponding statistics will be drawn on the screen. For example, when clicking on the 2012 column in the first histogram chart, all the other graphs will be dynamically updated with respect to 2012. The same for the remaining dates 2008 and 2006. Thank you for watching this video.